again one more baseline adjustment on it uh, before we really start getting into the real creative aspects of of adjustments and toning in Aperture 3. I chose this photo because it's a very simple photo to take but there are some subtleties to it that the toning could really help and again this goes back to my point that toning for me is a way to enhance the photo in a way that helps tell the story and was, th this photo is what really makes it interesting to me is this guy down here in the corner swinging the the towel the, I guess it's a scarf and, and the smoke that separates him from the rest of the crowd. If the smoke wasn't there, he really wouldn't pop. There's just this wall of smoke between him and the rest of the crowd. And while th this photo you're looking at is right out of the camera, it does do that. But I think we can make that work for us a little bit better. So first I want to lay in, as usual, and this is typical, and I don't want to bore you because it's something I do every time almost, but I I usually do start out with a good S curve just to see what happens and sometimes it, it's a little extreme it'll blow the highlights or whatever but you know in this case we're not blowing any highlights and we're we're still keeping some detail I can like in this guy's you know black jacket I can see detail in it which to me is pretty amazing that it would hold up like that so let's start there uh, that's a. I think the white balance is right on the money. Let's just do it just for fun. Let's go over here and, on this white flag. It looks like it warmed it up just a touch, and I'm not sure that's the right thing to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go manual. I'm gonna leave it right there. I cooled it down a little bit from what the uh, <clears throat> aperture decided was a good white balance, and I I see here it's almost exactly 5,000 K where I thought was good, and so. Uh, this was like a, this is probably seven o'clock, you know, so it, there was still sunlight. <clears throat> anyway, let's stay on point. Um, now, is what I want to do, let me go back to my master image real quick. And by doing the S curve, I've added contrast to it to the point where the smoke isn't working for me as much. So I think is what I want to do is brush that S-curve in where I want it. <clears throat> Excuse